if there's any video time left. All right, so let's start. We're looking for tangent of the angle, half of an angle, and we know the relationship of tangent to sine and cosine. So we can say this, that sine of half an angle and cosine of half an angle is tangent of half an angle. And now I'm going to pull out a little trick and I'm going to multiply the top by two cosine of half an angle and the bottom by two cosine half an angle. And so why would you do that? Because something nice falls in my lap. This times this is two sine half an angle cosine half an angle and on the bottom I get two cosine squared of half an angle. That's what this times this is. All right. So, do you recognize this right here? Let me go back, keep going back to our formulas from a day, the day when, well, I guess it was like Thursday night and we haven't used them. Here they are. So, do you see that hidden in one of those in our double angles? Look again, two sine of half an angle, cosine half an angle. Do you see how it follows this pattern right here? So I can write that as sine of twice whatever is there. So let's go and see what's there. So I can rewrite that as two, I'm sorry, sine of two times whatever is here, which is a over two. The twos cancel, so that whole top just becomes sine a, and on the bottom we have two cosine squared a over two, and that one is also almost a trig ID. Let's see which one it's almost like. You see which one? It's almost like that, but we need a minus one. So when mathematicians need a minus one, they put in a minus one and a plus one to make up for it. So now we have a similar situation on the bottom here. We have uh, co two cosine squared of a over two minus one is very much like that. 2 cosine squared a minus 1, so that's going to equal cosine of twice whatever's sitting there in that spot. So we're going to get cosine of twice a over 2. And this plus 1 has not can't be forgotten. The 2's cancel, so cleaning it all up, we have sine of an angle left in the top, cosine of an angle plus one on the bottom and that is one form of tangent of a over two. There's another form that we could derive very similarly but let's see if that form will get us through our problems. There's several other forms but I'm happy with that one if you're happy with that one. I guess the only other thing to clean up is the tangent power reducing um, formula for tangent. So let's go back on this side. Remember we were doing our power reducing formulas where sine squared went down to cosine without a squared term and cosine squared went down to cosine without a squared term. Let's do the same sort of thinking for tangent squared. But I'm going to use this formula and this formula. In fact I might even fit it right in here so that you can see both at once. So I can say the tangent squared of an angle is sine squared of an angle, Let me get this steady, sine squared of an angle divided by cosine squared of an angle. So we know that relationship. So putting in sine squared of an angle up here, I get one minus cosine of two a over two divided by this one down here. Cosine squared is one plus cosine of two a over two. So 
so when I flip this and multiply, the twos cancel, and I end up with one minus cosine of 2a divided by one plus cosine of 2a. So let me see if that if I'm satisfied with that result for the tangent uh, squared of an angle. I am very happy with that. So this is what's equal to tangent squared. Tangent squared A equals 1 minus cosine of 2A divided by 1 plus cosine of 2A. I'll put the tangent squared A here. Do you see how that is a power reducing formula? This is squared, but there's no squared term in here. All right, let's use uh, the half angle formula to do a problem and call it a call it a night or day or afternoon wherever you are. Let's do sine of 105. Right now, if you were going to go to the unit circle, that could not be found. But we could do, we could double that and call it tangent, I'm sorry, sine of 210 divided by 2. So do you see how we can use our formulas when we do that? So I'm going to do that. I'm going to say equals sine of 210 divided by 2. You see how now I've renamed that an angle divided by 2. So I'm going to be using my half angle formulas and 210 appeared and I know the um, I know the sine or cosine tangent we're looking at sine of 210. So we're going to go with that and the sine of half an angle let's go borrow it from the front here sine of half an angle right here is plus or minus 1 minus cosine a over 2. So let me write the formula. Sine of half an angle equals plus or minus square root of 1, I forgot, it was plus 1 minus cosine of 1 minus cosine a over 2, sorry. Alright, so using that, we now can see we're going to write sine of 210 divided by 2 equals. So our 210 right here is going to take the place of A in our formula. So I'm going to get plus or minus square root 1 minus cosine of 210 divided by 2. All right, what is the cosine of 210? Let's see, 210 is, 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 this is, this is 90 and this is 180 so 210 is right here and that's values is negative square root of 3 over 2 over and 1 half down is that right? negative is that 210? 30 yeah 210 so cosine of 210 is the first coordinate so I'm going to get 1 minus and when I get here, I'm going to get, if the battery goes out, you finish this on your own. I'm getting a blinking sign. So goodbye if it goes out. 1 minus a minus square root of 3 over 2 divided by 2. And that's our answer, but in poor form. All right. So we get 1 plus square root of 3 over 2 divided by 2. I like to clear the fractions. Divide, multiply the this by 2 and this by 2. We were doing that earlier with our some of our problems. And I get 2 plus square root of 3 over 4. And there's not a whole lot more I can do with that. Square root of 2, 2 plus square root of 3 over 4. And... I can take the 4 out, that's right. This 4 is, I know the square root of 4, so I can remove it from the radical. So I get 2 plus square root of 3 over a plain old 2. 
So, isn't that cool? The answer has a radical.